Alright, this one's gonna be on Mulan, I believe that's how you say it. But it is a package manager for KDE. It's similar to Synaptic for GNOME. Uh, so let's open this here. And this one's gonna replace was it K package kit for the next KDE release or maybe just the next uh, Kubuntu release. So let's bust it out and check it here. So if you want to check for updates, you can you know click for updates here. Let's wait for it to finish. But I believe you have nothing. All right, it was it's kind of slow here. So yeah, nothing there. Um, they do have markings. If you ever know what that is, if you don't know, then watch my videos on markings. But basically, is to uh, what is that? Um, you know, have a package list, and you can install it later really quick. So if you want to do that, you can do that. All this stuff you can do in here, some configurations. Like if you want to delete your cache every one or two or three, four days, or whatever many days you want. Your cache is basically the stuff that you download, um, you know, off of uh, your your package manager here. It saves it in your uh, root folders, and it can build up. So if you want to delete that, you can do that. Notification not really that important but if you want to check that out you can do that here's where you can go to the software sources uh, sim similar to was exactly the same thing as uh, the synaptic one but you know this is where you select your uh, other extra repositories whether it be uh, proprietary drivers you can select it here if it's not done so already uh, what I recommend everyone to do is right here which is download from uh, you want to select others and you want to select uh, best server it's gonna do a test and depends where you live it will select that server that's closest to your uh, hometown and you know you you'll download packages faster that way because it's closer to where you live all right so do that uh, I haven't done it but you know just select this and it'll just find uh, your country your city whatever and it'll select the best server because the Ubuntu servers is not always online um, so there you go. Uh, what is this one? Other software. This is where you add in repositories and PPAs. So if you add it, click on add here. They have the old school way where you add in the deadline. Or if you're installing uh, PPAs from launch pads, you paste in the same line here and click OK and it should do the, the rest. Okay. Updates. This is basically you tell it to. Uh, notify me updates every two weeks or every day or whatever other stuff that you want to do but not that hard to figure out here this is where your keys are at so if you need to install or add in GPG keys manually or whatever you can do it here not important this tab but that's what they got in there if you don't know what those are already now you do hopefully and as far as for this um, they added more categories so I do like the fact they have like XFCE here. Um, kind of convenient if you know you you're looking for just packages based on a um, desktop environment. So you don't want to build up too much dependencies. Uh, so I thought that was a good thing. Other stuff they have in here is status. You know, what's that? This is all my installed packages. It says installed here in green, and this is not installed. It. And if you ever broken any packages, let's say you download a dev file or whatever, and it says broken, you probably want to go in here and then you know mark for removal of whatever broken packages that they said. And your configuration files, if you want to, you know, remove those, whatever. Origins here. This is basically uh, the repositories that you've added either from Launchpad or whatever you you know you added from. Uh, it will show up here and you can see whatever is in those packages like I have the Ubuntu backports here and this is all the the packages that comes from that repositories right now one thing I don't like or it's kinda you know annoying to me let's say for example if I select XFCE desktop environment if this this um, category thing here is gonna affect the other tabs right so if I go in here and I look for installed it now, you see it's blank because they're only looking for XFCE stuff. And same thing for Origins, it's only going to look for XFCE stuff. So it affects each other, alright? So you make sure if you see like blank or whatever, 
make sure you have to select all and then you'll see all of it again again everything is um, you know it's affected so it's kind of annoying you have to switch tabs to go back and then redo the other one there you go right well let's say we want to install some stuff here let's see how we do this I'll install htop which I don't have it installed you see this there's not install and if you want to get a screenshot of how it looks like it doesn't always show up but this one has it right here and it's a command line app right uh, here you can read some change list dependencies you know what other stuff it needs to be installed technical stuff details and even some information here you can read it here so let's mark it for installation let's click on this sucker and if you want a preview of what um, you know you're about to install you can click in here and it shows you a list if you have more uh, requests to be installed and it'll show it here anyways let's apply this apply the sucker and there you go it's installing it and there you go your status now is this installed here uh, let's try this out right right and there you go htop is working fine and that's how you would install stuff you don't know already um, that's that's about it for this program it should be um, replacing K package kit uh, for the next release like I said but right now if you want to install it it's in your repositories one thing that I don't think they come by default is that it doesn't log you into uh, root so what you have to do is after you install it um, let's go right click on your menus here go to edit applications and go to system and look for Mulan package manager here and make sure you add in the KDE sudo in the beginning and this will log you into um, you know the root mode and you can install packages otherwise you're not going to be able to install packages that's it for this one though